Hi everyone, it's Katrina. Number 10. City in the Basement One day in 1963, a man decided to upgrade his basement when he made the archaeological discovery of the decade. In a small town in Turkey, the man bashed a hole in the wall with a sledgehammer, revealing a passageway to an underground world. Turns out his house was backed up against an entire city hidden underground. The city sits up to 250 feet below the surface of the Earth. The 18-story mega city was once home to thousands of people. Archaeologists estimate that it had enough space in its hollow tunnels and galleries to fit over 20,000 residents. But how in the world did the underground city get started? Researchers believe it happened around 3,000 years ago when the local people kept getting invaded. To hide from violence, the townspeople went underground. Then, as Christianity began to spread, Christians started to escape underground to protect themselves. They started off small with covered rooms and sanctuaries in case an invasion happened. Then, over many centuries, the city expanded and became a metropolis of its own, hiding underneath the hills. There were air shafts and water channels, room for animals, and even chapels and schools. The people there probably lived quite comfortably, although not having sunlight was probably annoying. The good thing was that their wells went deep underground and couldn't be poisoned by the enemy. When danger was near, everyone hid underground and blocked the access tunnels with round stone doors. Darien Kuyu wasn't alone. Cappadocia is home to over 250 underground cities, but only about 10% is accessible. Imagine all of the history that was unleashed when a man suddenly decided to do some home renovations. Number 9. Oldest Gold Treasure in the World On December 8, 1949, Three brothers were working near the railway station when they found something remarkable. They were in the small Bulgarian town of Panagayurishte. The brothers, Pavel Petko and Mikhail Dekov, uncovered what scientists say is one of the richest treasures ever found in Europe. They were just trying to do their jobs when they unearthed an unprecedented number of ancient Thracian artifacts. It's now known as the Panagayurishta treasure, and it consisted of bowls and ceramics gilded with gold, wine jugs decorated with ancient Thracian images, and even ceremonial goblets made from 24 karat gold. The Dekov brothers had uncovered an insane amount of gold and several never-before-seen vessels decorated by skilled Thracian hands almost 2,500 years ago. The treasure trove was likely part of a royal burial, perhaps buried alongside King Suthis III upon his death in the late 4th century BC. The treasure is now one of the best surviving collections of Thracian artifacts in the world. It's been displayed at museums across the globe, but spends most of its time at the National Museum of History in Sofia, Bulgaria. In total, the three brothers found 165 silver objects, 131 gilded with gold. They were crafted when Thrace was at its most powerful, dominating the Balkan Peninsula. But with the rise of the Roman Republic, Thrace was destroyed and its people were subjugated and taken as slaves. The most famous Thracian was Spartacus himself, who led a slave revolt in 73 BC, nearly toppling the Roman Republic. Number 8. An Accidental Tomb Discovery a team of Swiss and Egyptian archaeologists recently discovered a 1,100-year-old tomb in the Valley of the Kings. The tomb belongs to a woman who doesn't seem to have any relation to the royal families buried in the crypt. As you may know already, this is the place where many of the most important rulers of Egypt were buried starting about 3,000 years ago. The most famous is Tutankhamun, the boy king whose tomb was uncovered in 1922 by British archaeologists. Field director for excavations Elena Pauline growth said the discovery was a complete accident. They weren't even looking for tombs when they came across its entrance by mistake. But once they'd found it, they couldn't just leave a newly discovered tomb unopened. So they went inside to investigate. The researchers uncovered the coffin of a female singer named Nemes Bastet. Archaeologists say she was likely tasked with protecting the feline deity Bastet through song. She may have even been the daughter of a high priest during the 22nd dynasty. The valley was specifically for kings and their close family members, as well as their advisors. And so, finding a random female singer didn't quite make sense for researchers. Archaeologists think she may have been deposited in someone else's tomb 400 years after the original was used. They didn't know who the tomb was originally for, but it most certainly wasn't built for Nemes Bastet. And now for number 7, 
But first, it's shout out time! I want to give a big thank you to Adam Lars and Guy Gamer for supporting this channel. If you are new here, don't forget to subscribe and join the family. Number 7. Eggs at the Lake A young boy in China was out for a day of fun in the sun at a local lake when he came across a dinosaur nest. The 10-year-old was playing on the lake shore when he found fossilized eggs from a dinosaur that lived 66 million years ago. The discovery was made in the city of Heiyuan in Guangdong province. The boy was apparently looking for something he could use to crack open walnuts when he found what he initially assumed to be egg-shaped rocks. But luckily for scientists, this particular young boy already had a fascination with all things dinosaur. And so, it didn't take long for him to realize he was handling something very precious. When asked about the discovery by local news, the boy said he learned about dinosaurs at school and had a pretty good idea about fossils. He showed his mother what he found and they alerted the local museum. Paleontologists confirmed the ancient dinosaur nest. They found a whole heap of eggs preserved just underneath the sand at the edge of the lake. According to experts, the eggs came from the Cretaceous period and they were laid by a dinosaur only a few years before the extinction event that wiped them out. Even more amazing is that similar discoveries have been made in the city before. In 2015, workmen laying sewage pipes found a collection of over 40 dinosaur eggs and since then, an estimated 17,000 eggs have been uncovered throughout the city. This was once a dinosaur breeding ground, a place where prehistoric beasts came to peacefully lay their eggs away from potential predators. Number 6. The Donkey Archaeologist in 1996, a donkey made one of the most important archaeological discoveries in Egyptian history. Antiquities security personnel were patrolling the Temple of Alexander in the Bahariya Oasis near Cairo when their donkey got loose and stepped through a hole in the ground. The donkey's leg got stuck and its handler had to help it get free. And that was when they discovered that the donkey had broken through into a sprawling complex of tombs. These tombs would later prove to contain breathtaking wall paintings paintings and priceless mummies. After the donkey made the find, renowned Egyptologist Zahi Hawass descended on the site with his team and began excavations. The tomb is now called the Valley of the Golden Mummies, and some experts believe it's even more impressive than the Valley of the Kings near Luxor. Experts have estimated there to be as many as 10,000 mummies hiding in underground chambers and forgotten tombs. Most of them date from the Greco-Roman period between 332 BC and 390 AD. It's now been over 20 years since the discovery. In those years, archaeologists gained a lot of information about how Greek and Roman cultures interacted with ancient Egyptian culture. The mummies in these tombs were mostly Greco-Roman elites who took a liking to the Egyptian burial traditions. They were buried in typical Egyptian fashion but with a Greco-Roman flair. It's an excellent example of how one ancient culture took a shine to another one and then started copying their traditions. Number 5. The Ghost Ship In the middle of the Baltic Sea, a ghost ship was found by complete accident in 2003. But it took seven years for a full-scale archaeological expedition to be launched in order to steady the mystery vessel. This was because nobody was looking for it in the first place. And so, a whole new expedition had to be organized. The discovery was made by a company called Deep Sea Productions whose team was searching for a reconnaissance plane that vanished in 1952 during the Cold War. The scanner picked up a shipwreck, and further investigation revealed it to be nearly intact. The Baltic Sea is home to plenty of ships that have crashed or been destroyed over the past several thousand years, but finding one completely intact is a miracle. So, the team took seven years to gear up and went back in 2010 to learn as much about the ship as they could. The subsequent investigations revealed that the ghost ship was 85 feet long and that it operated during the 17th century. The team also determined that it was likely a merchant vessel that may have been developed by the Dutch around the year 1650. However, nobody knows for sure which flag the ship sailed under. There were thousands of Dutch merchant ships crossing the Baltic Sea in the 17th century, which is why investigators believe it belonged to the Dutch. But it very well could have been under the control of another nation as well. Until more information is uncovered, archaeologists can't say for sure. Number 4. Routine Road Work in northeast Iran, a routine road construction project revealed a medieval tunnel 
that appears to be connected to the nearby Shar el Belgay's castle. The castle is an ancient fortress that dates back to the Sasanian Empire that ruled between 224 and 651 AD. This was the last Iranian Empire before the rise of the Muslim conquest that changed the world in the 7th century. The fortress is still in fantastic condition, with its walls and ramparts overlooking the sprawling landscape. The tunnel appears to stretch over 11 miles. Experts believe it could have been part of an undiscovered city hiding underground. However, more excavations are required before anyone can figure out the secrets of the tunnel. This isn't even the first time a secret underground passage has been found by accident in Iran. Another recent construction project revealed the lost subterranean city of Nushabad. This place was hollowed out by ancient Iranians seeking protection from their enemies around 15,000 years ago. The tunnel found near the castle appears to be about 600 years younger and was likely used for similar purposes. Number 3. Hidden in Plain Sight Archaeologists accidentally found the lost temple of Tutmos I after trying to find it for nearly 50 years. The temple was found hiding in plain sight, right in front of everyone, but nobody had recognized it. It was only recently that a Polish Egyptologist identified the remains of the temple and shocked the archaeological community. Tutmos I ruled ancient Egypt between 1506 and 1493 BC. He was especially popular for his building projects, which made Egypt look more glorious and also contributed to the economy. Many historians even believe it was Thutmose the I who ordered the construction of a tomb for himself in the Valley of the Kings. He was a fairly important individual, and for decades, scientists tried desperately to uncover his temple. Then came Jadviga i Vashtuk who accidentally found decorated fragments of blocks sitting in storage at the Egyptian Ministry of State for Antiquities. The blocks were thought to belong to a totally different temple from the reign of Hatshepsut, but in reality, the fragments had been misidentified. What this meant was that everyone already knew where the Temple of Tutmose I was. They just got the identification wrong, thinking the mysterious temple belonged to someone else entirely. The accidental discovery was little more than what archaeologist fixed another archaeologist's mistake. Number 2. Inca Tomb In a working-class neighborhood in Lima, the modern capital of Peru, something from the forgotten world of the Inca was discovered. Scientists unearthed a tomb from the days of the Inca Empire underneath someone's house in the heart of the capital. The burial is about 500 years old and contains human remains wrapped in cloth. Lead archaeologist Julio Abanto says the people who were entombed here likely belonged to the elite society of Ruricancho in the 15th century. This society ruled over the area of Lima just before the Inca came into power in the 1400s. The Inca defeated and subjugated the Ruricancho only a few years before they themselves were defeated by the Spanish in 1532. The person most surprised by the discovery is Hipólito Tica, the owner of the house the tomb was found under. He had some building plans for his property which required an archaeological survey before they could continue. This particular residential district is known for its archaeological finds, so the city makes you do a survey before completing building work. It was during the survey that the mysterious tomb was revealed. It's a fantastic example of just how easy it is for the past to be buried beneath the present. Number 1. The Terracotta Farmers on March 29, 1974, a group of peasants were busy digging a well in China's Shanxi province. The country was going through a drought at the time, and there were widespread food issues. So, these people mostly lived in a very poor area. They were working hard with their bare hands, when suddenly they started coming across fragments of clay. The peasants were confused by this but they kept digging under the impression that they might find buried treasure. Little did they know, they were about to stumble onto the greatest treasure known to China and one of the greatest archaeological sites in the world. What they were really digging up were pieces of terracotta warriors, the life-size statues of soldiers buried with the first emperor of China, Chen Shi Huangdi, over 2,000 years ago. Huangdi became the unifier of China in 221 BC, and when he died, he was given a burial that even the greatest Egyptian pharaohs would be jealous of. But over the centuries, his tomb was forgotten. It was covered by several feet of soil and eventually was lost. 
Over the past almost 50 years, archaeologists have uncovered 600 burial pits, multiple underground vaults, and 8,000 terracotta warriors. The mausoleum itself is now 3.9 square miles, showcasing three main pits full of cracked, but mostly intact, terracotta soldiers. The site now ranks alongside the Great Wall and the Forbidden City as one of the most historically important places in China. Thanks for watching! What would you do if you accidentally found an archaeological treasure trove? Let us know in the comments below and be sure to subscribe if you haven't already. See you next time! Bye!